Auditory learners are individuals who learn best through listening and hearing information. They prefer engaging with spoken words, whether through lectures, discussions, or audio recordings, rather than reading or hands-on activities. Examples of learning activities that benefit auditory learners include listening to lectures, participating in group discussions, and using mnemonic devices that involve rhymes or music. They might also benefit from reading aloud, using audiobooks, and engaging in oral presentations. For instance, an auditory learner might understand a story better if they hear it narrated rather than just reading the text. In a language class, listening to and repeating phrases can help them grasp the material more effectively. There are several strengths of auditory learners. One is their ability to remember and understand information through listening. They often have strong listening skills and can effectively process spoken information. Another strength is their verbal communication skills. Auditory learners tend to be good at expressing themselves through speech and are often articulate and persuasive. Additionally, they are often good at following verbal instructions, which can help them perform tasks accurately when guided by spoken directions. However, auditory learners also face some challenges. They may struggle in classroom settings where information is primarily delivered through written text or visual aids. They can find it difficult to process and retain information that is presented only in written form. Another challenge is that they might rely too heavily on auditory input and struggle when such input is not available. This can affect their performance in situations where they need to rely on visual or kinesthetic learning methods. Furthermore, auditory learners can sometimes get distracted by background noise, making it hard for them to focus and retain information in noisy environments. Critics of the concept of learning styles, including auditory learning, argue that the evidence supporting distinct learning styles is weak and inconsistent. Research has not conclusively shown that teaching according to a student's preferred learning style significantly improves learning outcomes. Critics also suggest that focusing too much on learning styles can lead to a fixed mindset where students and teachers believe that certain subjects or skills are beyond reach because they don't fit the preferred learning style. This can limit a student's potential to develop a well-rounded set of skills and adapt to various learning situations. Moreover, critics emphasize the importance of using a variety of teaching methods to benefit all students rather than categorizing them strictly into learning styles. They argue that effective teaching should incorporate diverse approaches to engage all senses and cognitive processes, ensuring that students develop flexibility in their learning strategies. To learn about more learning styles, have a look at the videos I've left on screen now.